Hi there again. Today I'm using Blender and the program Pure Ref that allows you to view images in front of the window that you're using. Very useful little app. I'm not sponsored by it in any way either, by the way. Right, I just recorded this, but a session of this, but it, I deleted it back. So let's have a look at what we're going to do today. So architect, tonic, aesthetic shapes, pushing them around, seeing what looks good, seeing what doesn't, philosophies, philosophies about shapes and structures and forms. This is a draw every day, one of my draw every days that I did this one in November the 20th last year, 2017. I do a draw every day, you can check that out on, on my Twitter and um, Instagram feeds, James Abelart, and also my Pinterest. I'll just zoom that down to there. Sorry, I'm a bit bunged up today, so I'm trying not to breathe too much because the last video I did that actually wasn't saved. Uh, had a bit sort of like <gasps> like that. It's horrible when you hear people, you know, when recording like that. It's, it's like they've got some massive beard or something, you know. Like that. <laughs> I don't like that. Anyway, just a personal thing um, that I was recognizing in my own recording. Right. I'm gonna go and make an icosphere, an isosphere. Um, Increase the subdivisions up. I don't have a beard, by the way, so there you go. Nothing wrong with beards, um, so don't, don't, you know, let's, let's just stop there. Right, so that's one sphere. Break it up a bit. I'm just going to manually increase the size on each one, decrease it just to make it look a bit more varied. Randomness is good in computer graphics. I was saying to someone the other day, I these days I often like to print out 3D graphics and photograph them because it creates randomness. You know, the way the light falls on the surface, the way you can paint it with lots of imperfections. You know, when you're purely doing something for CGI rendering, it's good to randomize things, I think. And, and often I find the best ways to do it by hand. Obviously, there are other ways that you can select all of them then randomize the scale but I, I don't know I just like working with the hand being intuitive it doesn't really slow things down in my view in any of the programs like Blender, 3ds Max, Substance Painter, Substance Designer I'm going to be using these ones in the future as well so it's not just going to be Blender, Blender, Blender um, let's have a look at these shapes right so just start by duplicating that's a bit big so from all the times I've done a lot of sketching, observation, and you might be like this too, or if you're just starting out, you know, you have to observe, you have to get a sketchbook, you have to get out there, try and draw every day, even if it's a line, just a little line. You start to get a feel for the shapes, you get a feel for the negative spaces, what's happening here, how it fits together, how it looks, you know, and you develop a particular aesthetic and awareness of shapes and that kind of thing. If you don't sketch every day or you can model clay, I, I think you just don't get that intuitive feeling to be honest with the space and form. Yeah. Well, I don't mean sketch every day, don't go crazy if you don't want to, but try and sketch regularly. We, you know, I've always had a sketchbook. I always carry a sketchbook around with me. I spend a hell of a lot on sketchbooks. Lucky I don't actually drink alcohol because I think I'd be really broke if I um, one if I had a, you know, drank alcohol because um, yeah, and I don't smoke either. So I'd be so broke because I spend so much on, you know, sketch pads and pens. Has its rewards though. I think I'm like 1.7 million impressions on Pinterest. So if you do it regularly, you know, you get up there. But more importantly, you develop your own personal journey, develop your style. You know, if, if no one wants to follow you or millions and billions of people want to follow you, then that's good, isn't it? But the whole thing is about developing your own work and it's good to record it on social media because that gives a kind of benchmark for you to look back on without you know keeping all your drawings in one drawer um, also it enables you to share your ideas with the community and inspire others even okay, so I've just done um, put these little globules around so they're looking quite funky yeah 
and you know what I tried to look at is, is you know for example let's let's take that there that kind of looks wrong in my view you might think that looks that looks interesting but you know I, I think it looks wrong personally that it's emerging too far out it's a bit like a piece of industrial design what looks sweet what doesn't yeah um, so let's let's see what else we could do um, I'm not going to do too much okay some nice little cubes here so I'm going to go to add mesh cube you can also do shift a and then and blender and we go to tab select all go to edges <clears throat> select all edges um, control and B for bevel so lots of keyboard shortcuts in Blender. Um, move mouse and then scroll the mouse wheel to give it a bit more, um, give it more um, bevels. Tab. Let's do that. Scale. Scale it down. Scale it down. Put it under that. That would be a good thing. Duplicate it. Whoops, duplicate it. I'm trying not to use the keyboard shortcut so you can see what I'm doing. Um, let's duplicate this to some other one. Scale it a bit. Duplicate that. Like so. Duplicate it. Yeah, it's looking interesting. Duplicate it and duplicate it. Okay, it's kind of like, yeah, it's like a sort of rhythm, it's like a sequence, you know. And I could, if I wanted to spend more time, I could go on and draw sort of lines, blinds, you know, draw things like that. Um, but for now, that's okay. I'm just gonna add a plane. I'd say doing this in 3D is a really good way to learn. How to be creative and push things around, if, and also you know doing technical things. So if you want to make a car, you get diagrams of a car, and you closely stick to the modeling. But that's good. But this is also good for sort of pushing things around and expanding your aesthetic, you know, your aesthetic skills. Your and you're also developing your own aesthetic style. Yeah. Gonna go here. Get, change the light to sun. Oh, actually, check, go Blender. Cycles render. Sun. And let's go to rendered, see what it looks like. So we're gonna get gonna get another panel here. I'm gonna select the sun. I'm gonna rotate it. RY. So we can do loads of nice things like so. I get a border. Um, I'm gonna go to materials. Actually get take that down. Go to um, sorry, go to um, node editor, use nodes, new material, it's an emission, where is that? All right, it's just um, select all, select all. Um, new material, diffuse, um, go to this is a PBR plugin. Let's change the material, make sure I've selected an object. Change material. Oh, there's some that, that's getting in the way. Right, let's select another material, a new material. <laughs> Quickly, PBR, blood. No, let's not do blood. Light. Change it to light. Um, Man, well, I've forgotten why that's working, not working. Anyway, let's leave that. But as you see, you can see this is a kind of an interesting thing that I've made already. So already it could be kind of a, like an abstract, an abstract game environment, you know. So you could be walking around these big spheres like that. You could be very, very small. These spheres could be hundreds of meters high or they could be three meters high. So you could be like that, like in a sculpture park or something. So that's just really how to get some ideas and develop aesthetic kind of principles just from basically a sketch like so. And then obviously you can add materials and stuff which I haven't done yet. So any questions, comments, let me know. Please share. Um, any requests as well. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot more of these architectonics, one every week. 
I'm going to be using different software, it's not just Blender, I'm going to use 3ds Max, I'm going to be using Substance Designer, I'm going to use Substance Painter. Substance Designer, by the way, really get into that if you haven't used it before. It's really, really good um, for patterns, it's amazing. Okay, I better go because I've got something in the oven actually, and I'll speak to you later on this lovely sunny day from North Devon, where I am at the moment, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Any comments, questions? Thanks very much, and check out my website, jamesaverlart.com, for more tips, blogs, and tips, and my artwork, and also check out www.3zuni.com for my science fiction universe. Thanks very much, and bye for now.